Hello guys, and welcome back to Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. If you remember last time, we basically fucked around until I finally figured out what I was supposed to do, which was collect the last two old amulets, and we're gonna give it to our old, uh, scoliosis aunt. Ah. Oh, splendid. That's all the old amulets returned. You're damn right, it's all of them. You are too kind to me. I am too kind to you. Uh, if you don't mind, my dear one, one last favor. Can you leave them in the treasure room? Okay, so that's how we get the key. Here's the key. You know where the door is. I'm not the fucking prince or anything, Ant. I don't like... I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm... My princely duties do not include my aunt's chores. But you do have scoliosis, so... We'll let it slide. If you hear some, uh, some munching in the background, it's because I got some off-brand Doritos, so, uh, I don't know if you can hear this, but... Yeah, you can hear that. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go. There's not a lot of treasure in this treasure room. Prince, something terrible has happened. The guards have found the main door to the treasure room broken down. Why weren't they guarding it? That's some horrible guards. The only thing we found is this old sarcophagus. Well, luckily I know what to do with sarcophagus and these. Please don't touch it. It's obviously there was something related to your robbery. I have tried to inform your brother at Kinetin, but I can't find him anywhere. It's probably because he's in the, like, sewers talking to his best friend. Whatever his name is. There is, like... Like, maybe they just stole it all? But there's, like, nothing in this treasure room. He has some muscular legs. He must be, like, the captain of the, the guards. Nothing in this fucking treasure room. Alright, we'll see what's in here. What the fuck? I want you all to be ready to use the warping sarcophagi, so someone else can use them. Enter the palace when the party begins. We must overrun the palace quickly, is this my surprise? Tonight the throne will finally be mine. Well, you can have it, like, if you really want it, brother. I would much rather just crawl around in dusty, like, hallways, doing my aunt's chores, so <laughs> it's yawning. Ah, oh, my dear brother, what a pleasant surprise, and after I had prepared such a wonderful party for you tonight. Yeah, uh-huh. However, you're obviously too impatient to wait, and you want your present now? Okay, give me my present. Guard, seize him. That was a lot of words for guards, seize him. Alright, what's going on? Okay, going back to old Sphinx seat now. <clears throat> Looks like it. Finally come with a tutorial level. Old Sphinxy. As half naked as ever. So we got the old Sword of Osiris that we got last time. We got these save points that are useless, but I'm gonna save the state real quick. So sister save state. Slow one. Gotcha. Alright. Let's see what's in these, uh, pots, some gold scarabs, path to the right with some ominous skeletons and some demon, and then a monkey path. God, I fucking love this game. I'm, like, starting to remember, ooh, I just love this game so much. I'm starting to remember some of the stuff in it. <laughs> It's that guy. I think I've seen this scene in The Mummy with Brendan Fraser. Nefertiti, don't cry for me. Just become a mummy with me and we'll be together forever. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Someone's makeup mirror is shining its golden light on me. 
The brother looks very pleased with himself. He also has really short fingers. Alright, so it's like electrocuting me or something. Alright, old Sphinxie, that's uh, back again. Greeted once again by your very toned Sphinx abs. That looked like that would do something. Maybe a little minute. So we got a <clears throat> a dude. Dude in a box. Oh god, the music in this game. It's so good. That looks like something goes in there. That also looks like something goes in there. <laughs> Sphinx is like too good to climb a ladder with his hands and feet like a normal fucking person. He has to use uh, both hands and then uh, swing his way up with only his upper body. So I wonder what was in that other hallway. So, this will bring up that thing, that, the dude in the box, so we can get up on the sledge. Ledge. Uh-huh. Alright, that's a weird, uh... Alright, we got one glyph key, which looks like... The hook a pirate would have for a hand. Let's throw this. See, if we can throw it across. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay, and then we'll switch it. Right. Gotta love these easy puzzles that make you feel like a genius for solving them. I love the ridiculous upper body strength of all the characters in this game. Come on. Yeah? Okay. I got another pirate hook. Can we double jump in this? No. Thought we could for a second. I think you can later in the game. I don't remember exactly how long this game was since I played it when I was like around 10. But when you're 10, like the game seems like really fucking long. So <laughs> that activated the electric rope. The most efficient means of transportation in ancient Egypt across vast chasms we have today, the electric rope. Not only is it efficient, but it will also uh, transport all of your passengers across your empty hallways that every Egyptian palace might have, as long as you have the ungodly upper body strength to uh, fall off like a fucking idiot. <clears throat> also just noticed that rope was perpetually... I guess that's because it has a weight on it, but then why isn't this rope swinging since it has a weight on it? Alright, can I spin on this? Yeah, okay. I can, like, pole dance. <laughs> well, Sphinxie's got it going on. <laughs> Go! Oh, that was close. Okay, so I fucking remember this. You guys are in for a treat. Look at these gold scarabs. Play me a tune! Alright, now I gotta repeat it. And I just fucking forgot it because I was talking. Say it again. Red, blue, red, red, blue, green, yellow, green, red. Okay. Red, blue, green, yellow, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to be quiet for this so I can pay attention. Yeah, yeah. So, what did this do? Yeah. Oh, okay. A 
ancient Egyptians had some questionable ways of locking doors. Like... <coughs> like targets you hit with a sword and, uh... Musical... Combination locks. Raisin. <laughs> you guys like raisins? Uh-huh, so we can't, can't go that way. Can I set this thing on fire? <laughs> I can explode him. And another one appears. Isn't that convenient? Alright, you're coming with me. Nope, you're not. <laughs> Alright, we got some ropes, uh, over here. Yeah. Maybe that is like a- oh, uh, fuck me. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, oh, I'm dead. Game over. Oh my fucking gosh, give me a second. <laughs> okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> so I had to go back to that last uh, save state. It wasn't a big deal. We just came back here. Uh, now that I mentioned that, it would be a good time to save again. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but it did give me a chance to go back and check out the other corridor on the right when we first started. And you can't even go in. There's like a big... That big, like, ominous thing above the door shoots, like, a laser at you and kills you, so. We'll just have to check that out later, I guess. Uh-huh. Let's see where this is going. The, uh, red Christmas tree things are going down. to go GTG which actually is got to go well we got to go because we're good to go you guys can look at it like that yeah. <sighs> what do you think of that huh. all right this thing's gonna pop up again no Alright, what's going on the old tut? They are changing him into a mummy. Which I'm sure that's how they actually did it. And they only left one eye open. So, basically you guys could be Egyptologists by the end of watching this series. Now you know how they make mummies. He senses something. Sir, there is an intruder in the building, but it's old Sphinxy. Destroy him! Forsaken spears of this building. Wake up, arise and kill the intruder! Now it really reminds me of the mummy with Brendan Fraser. one of my favorite movies in this little. Yeah, look at this guy. Lucky for you, I had a the lightsaber of Osiris. But anyways, there, now you guys have found the, uh, the cursed mummy of Sphinx. Met the Sphinx, 
Now you've met the cursed mummy. Or at least you've seen him. Old mummy tut. Yeah. Just so good. The music, like when you hit stuff. Combos are a little clumsy just yet, to be so they could have added a couple more like animations. But that's okay. My bugs! I wonder like if you carry these around in like a bag and just constantly be like squirming around. That would be fucking horrible. I think carrying around like physical like objects like coins or scarabs as money would be horrible in general. Like, I think carrying around cash now is like such an inconvenience. Like, I use my debit card for everything. But even carrying cash with me is an inconvenience, so I can't even imagine <laughs> using coin money. Which I guess we've had paper money for a long time in some form. And I guess people use money a lot less. Back then, what's in here? A shield of Osiris. Why was that not with his sword? It appears to be like a gust of wind. You can use this shield to protect yourself. Select the item, then press the button. Oh yeah, okay, so... Let's put this on left bumper. Come at me. I got my gust of wind punch thing. So you can't use the shield and the, the sword at the same time, it's worth noting. Oh, you can do... Okay, this is kind of cool too. I wish I had a tail like this guy. Although I will say it doesn't feel like it's proportionate. Like <clears throat> if he was a uh, a lion of the same size of body, I feel like his tail would be longer. So I feel like they probably should have made his tail a little bit longer. <clears throat> so I'm guessing. Uh, Ooh, I wonder if that guy's gonna come back. So, attack me. There we go. That's cool. I wonder if that guy's in the... In the spot you see in here. Hello? No. So, that other path with laser beam that I was talking about. I guess this shield is what... What this is for. What? Yeah. 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 Alright, is this guy coming alive? Yeah. How responsive is this? Not that responsive. So we need to remember to shield good bit in, in advance if you want to use it. Which basically means it has little to no combat application. It's pretty much just going to be resolving problems. Ugh. Yeah. That's my little cheeky uh, yeah. double jump too. In case you guys were wanting some skills to pay the bills. Okay, stay real quick. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, so that's how laser beam was talking about. Uh, what was that? <laughs> do the like that thing after a combo either you can't go like bam bam and then well, I guess you can as long as after your second hit okay that was easy enough I don't know you can hear some ominous chanting 
looks like, uh... There's old Tut down there, we gotta save him! Old Mummy Tut. Prince Mummy Tut, to people that don't know him that well. Uh, so let's yeah. cut the sparkly rope. Oh no! <laughs> what happened? Curses! Now we will have to start again. Look, there's the saboteur who ruins the ceremony. Mm -hmm. You fool, deactivate the magical device, can't you see it is going to explode? Uh-huh. Once again. Taking all of the, like, jam jars, as well as the mummy. Everyone, everyone's going. Except for some, for some reason, the bowing people in Nefertiti. Maybe she went too. Alright, okay. No, she did not go to. I wonder why. Let's go save her. Oh, fuck me. Maybe the shield does have some uses. We can get married and forget about Prince Tut. I am half lion, you know. I'll let you guess which half is the lion. Oh, thank you for saving me. I am eternally grateful, but now my beloved Tut is dead. How can I live without him? Well, you can live with me. That's how you can live without him. This vase is all that remains of him. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. You put it over your mantle or something. I want you to take it. I don't want it. Why would I want it? I guess I could put some flowers in it or something. Find him and bring him back to me. I'm sorry, but he is dead. Uh, okay, an old amulet. And here is my monkey sensei guy. Sphinx, you must meet with me in Heliopolis. Heliopolis? As soon as possible. These events are clear evidence that something extremely uh, sinister is taking place. The forces at work during the ceremony were far too powerful and demonic for my liking. We must find the source of this power before it grows to be a real menace. With that portal amulet, you can use the portal in the entrance to leave this place. I would really like to leave this place, actually. Do not worry about Nefertiti, I will find a way to help her to escape this wretched place. Why can't she just go with me to Heliopolis? I want you to take this gold onk. It will help you to face the challenges you will inevitably face on your journey. Good luck, Sphinx. Thanks, Monkey Sensei. Okay, well, I guess Nefertiti's going there. So basically, <clears throat> in case you guys are wondering, what has happened is Nefertiti was uh, gonna marry old King Tut, old Prince Tut, right? And his brother was like, hell no. I want you to marry me. So his brother was gonna turn uh, Tut into a mummy and kill him. However, old Sphinxy came in and he was like, Nefertiti is the girl I want to be with, and it was love at first sight. So he knocked down that giant amulet and he was like, Nefertiti, I want you to be mine. And Nefertiti was like, How can I live without Prince Tut? And Sphinx was like, Well, that's easy. You can just live with me instead. And then hearing that, the monkey sensei got in on the action. He was like, this Nefertiti lady must be uh, pretty fine, and there's no way that Sphinx, uh, a princess of mine, can handle such a lady. So he was like, oh, Sphinx, I need you to uh, fucking uh, go to Heliopolis. I'll uh, take care of Nefertiti here. And then that's the, that, that's the synopsis. So let's drop a little, little save real quick. Bam, bam. Let's go. Use the mysterious amulet. Oh, the portal god is amused at your foolishness. 